Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will be solving tough engineering mechanics problems. If you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. Today's problem is when the 0.05 kg body is in the position shown. The linear spring is stretched 10 mm. Determine the force P required to break contact at C. Complete solutions for A including the effect of the weight and B neglect the weight. In this problem given is a body a T section uh, of mass 0.05 kg is arranged like this hinged at O and at point C there is a contact and a spring at B is uh, arranged like this and spring constant is K equal to 1750 Newton per meter and spring is stretched by 10 millimeter. So and a load P is acting here. So from here to here is 60 millimeter from here to here is 60 millimeter from this point to this is 40 millimeter from here to here it is 40 millimeter. So to break this contact contact here at point C all the moments about point O must be zero. So in the case one we, we are going to uh, consider weight of this um, body and in the case B we are neglecting the body. Let us see in the coming slides how to solve this problem. Mass of the body is given as 0.05 kg so its weight will become 0.05 into 9.81 that is 0.49 Newton. So the spring constant, constant is given 1750 Newton per meter and stretch is given 10 millimeter. So spring force force at this point B you know, towards left will be equal to F equal to K into delta. So that is 1750 into 10 divided by 1000. 1000 is uh, because this um, stretch is given in millimeter. So to convert that millimeter into meter. So we are dividing by 1000. Uh, so the force of the spring F equal to 17.5 Newton. In this condition, uh, the weight of the component, this body is going to act vertically downwards along this length. So the center of gravity must be somewhere lying on this. So the force P is applied here vertically downwards and weight will be acting vertically downwards along this and a spring force F is acting towards left at a distance 40 mm from O. So W is acting at a distance 60 mm from O and P is acting at a distance 60 plus 60 120, uh, 120 mm from O. Now let us take uh, moments about O due to all these three forces. So in this case, case one, we are considering weight. So moments about O, MO equal to sigma MO equal to zero. So this uh, weight P and uh, the force P and weight W will create counterclockwise moments and the force F will create clockwise moment about O. So that is written here. So P into 120, that is P into 60 plus 60, that is 120 plus W into 60, this W into this distance 60 minus F into 40 equal to 0 that is written here. So from this we can write P equal to 17.5 uh, into 40 minus 0.49 into 60 by 120. So the load P uh, to break the contact at C when weight is considered is equal to P equal to 5.59 Newtons. Now in case B we neglect W weight. So the previous equation that equation we have seen in the previous uh, slide will become P into 120 minus F into 40 equal to 0. So moment due to W is removed here. So, fr so from this we can write P equal to F into 40 by 120 that is 17.5 into 40 by 120. So P the load P required to break the contact when weight is not considered is equal to 5.83 Newton. That's all for today's video. If you like this content, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.